Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today's project is um, flat belt pulleys. And uh, we have to make a flat belt pulley that is missing on a small bench mount drill press. Now our customers supplied us with the drive pulleys on the spindle itself. We're going to go ahead and, and we're set up now. We're going to be making a couple end caps to where we can set this up between centers on our uh, stylus uh, support back there for the tracer attachment and we're going to be using this to create the shape on the flat belt pulleys. Uh, the flat belt pulley that we're going to be making is one that's missing on the motor. So uh, let's get it going. Now we got two pieces of scrap aluminum uh, that we dug out of our bin there. This one here we're just going to turn a, uh, a diameter that's going to sit in here in a, in a clean face and we'll turn it around, we'll center drill it, okay, and that'll be for that end there to support it. Now we have this uh, small slug right here, and it already happens to have a nice drill that's not quite uh, opened up enough, and we're going to go ahead and make a, a, a cap to go over this diameter here, and then we'll center drill it there. Then we'll be able to hold this in the rig, all right, so we get turn it on this. We just finished skimming this and then we came out here, we kissed this off with a file and we gave just a little bit of emery on here and it does go into the shoulder, fits fairly snug, we're happy with that. Alright, so we're gonna get we're gonna get turning on our other one that's gonna go over here, then we're gonna set them up and we're gonna put the center drills in on the other side by setting up the hub and doing a straight in center drill for the uh, steady rest there or the the uh, tail stock. Now we've met, you know, we are extremely close. This is like one and five sixteenths uh, on the OD there. And just, I mean, with the cheapy uh, veneers here, we got like uh, uh, 282, 283. All right, so we're going to take a light skim and then we're going to go get a small pair of snap gauges to uh, read that. We have a uh, oh, little over a half, a half inch, maybe nine sixteenths has got to go in. And so we're going to be modifying the depth of that drill point that's in the bottom there. So this is like four, four fifty. So we got uh, we got a little bit of plunging to do. So. a little bit of room in there we got almost 600 so we got plenty of clearance we know that uh, we're not going to be hitting on the face there and we'll be resting out here where we want to we're going to chamfer that after we're done all right we came down to size and uh, th then uh, we tried it in there and it was a little teat and uh, we just took another light skim and it's good we just got to break the corner because there's a slight radius in here and we want to make sure that we have plenty of clearance when we're resting against this face here, against this face here. Um, just where we chose to sit, that's all. Uh, more purchase out here than it is if we were pushing on that face right there.
a little bit more, a little more angle. Okay, now we're nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna set them up and we're gonna go ahead and do the center drills on the back side. Okay, we lightly put the pulley all the way against the back chuck and lightly clamped on the OD so we can get a nice true running diameter and we're happy with how it's running. This isn't gonna spin, but we wanna at least be true so that our alignment uh, on our stylus is gonna be good. So we're gonna put the little center drill on the end here and then we're gonna flip it around and do the other side. Okay, we got that side, and we can safely grab a hold of this pulley, and we can duplicate this contour. We're going to be doing it in a couple different steps, and this is how we're going to do it. Let's get the uh, let's get the pattern set up. Okay, our OD is about 50 thousandths over what we really want to finish up, just so that the uh, two radius to edge flanges to the pulley uh, will we'll be able to clean. We're going to part it off to inch and a half, which is the width that we're going to make the part out of. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill and we're going to ream the bore to finish the first finished size. We're going to make it half inch. If we have to, we can uh, open it up or polish it to the... Uh, uh, 502, 503, whatever we need to have it to fit the uh, the odd uh, shaft size that uh, uh, we're getting on the motor. Uh, but we need the hole in there to create a jig to hold this piece in a certain spot here. Then we can use our tracer to come in and of course the tracer can only profile the one side of, of the whole part and then we'll turn the part over and then we'll mirror that that same cut. So, I mean, it's, it's a mirror image part, but you, you can only cut against the, the, the working face in relationship to the cutter and the way that the, the tracer attachment uh, uh, cuts. And you'll see that happening. All right. We're going to like about 30 thousandths heavy on the width here and then we'll face the other side so that we have two nice clean surfaces there. <laughs> turned down so we're uh, smaller than this diameter here and uh, we have a uh, finished dowel pin half inch and it fits pretty snug in here we're gonna drill and ream and we're gonna set that into this uh, slug here so that we have a center location and we're gonna friction drive the front so we can pull this off turn it around put it back on and, and flip it back and forth and be able to shape out the outside of the pulley there uh, in place here
inch and a quarter. And we're gonna just put a little bevel in there, just so we don't have any raised up material. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, a reaming a little slower here. the unit down here between centers and we got it in a rough area now I'm gonna be screwing this back and forth and moving this part right here and that will allow me to kiss off this space over here now the stylus comes up around here do this radius okay now it can't come back in and get that area right there but it angles so slightly and you have to feed it pretty slow because you don't want it to go plunging across here but it'll come down here to a certain point and then it actually starts picking up that radius right there. It'll pick it up on that side of center. Come on over, get that one, come around here and hit this first part of this radius and it's gonna wanna dive off of there at the end there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do this without putting any clamp right there. I'm just gonna feed it real slow. And um, uh, of course, this is just cutting air in relationship to you know what we're, what we're picturing up there. But it, it may plunge into the steel uh, support behind that aluminum piece that we're cutting. So anyway, this I'll, I'll give you a shot as this is moving once I get going and I'm comfortable and up there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to screw this back and forth, back and forth. But I'm going to give you a view while I'm adjusting it, how it comes in and out to the face in relationship to the part. All right, now I got my hand on each, each side of the dial here and we go out and we come in okay it comes in at an angle but it actually makes a difference of coming in or out all right now we're gonna leave ourselves a little bit of play and adjust it and we can always we can always come in closer this will come out heavy here and then come in and out here and it'll come it'll be heavy on this inside over here as well for this pulley so we're gonna sneak up onto it and uh, we don't want to really be kissing it. We want to come out here and, and be a little proud on our material. Now I think for when I start cutting, I think I'm gonna mount the camera above you so you got an aerial view, but I wanted to give you at least a close up there. Lots of times I don't like that area because I don't want to fling uh, goo and juice and all that on the camera there. But anyway, as I advance this, she comes out and she's gonna be coming out and it's gonna, of course it's gonna be out there farther because that's the radius on the top of the, the pulley on the lip or shoulder there. Then that's where it drops back in, catches the pulley there, and it'll sweep across, doing the arc. And then on the inside of this lip here, comes out, comes around, and does that pulley. Now here's where it is at the end. When it comes in, it could come in and dive right there. So, um, you know, we got... Uh, We may, we may clamp something up there. I don't know what we can do. Something to keep it from going on in or just keeping an eye on it, okay? So we can come back out, we come back to our zero, and we come back in and that's how we start again.